So we want to, we, we, hey, look, we would rather get into a kingdom where we can just relax and 24-7, and, and 365. Yeah. Fuck, even the Sabbath is going to be beautiful, yeah. enjoyable, man. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of brothers can't even keep the Sabbath. Yeah. That's going to be, that's going to be fun, man. You can't have fun here. You can't enjoy yourself. Yeah, it's, it's one of the most beautiful cities, man. Why am I vexed? You know? <laughs> this supposed to be, this supposed to be it, man. Miami, oh, you in Miami? I want to see this place get hit with missiles. This is serious, right. you know? Right. right. Yep. Why, why, why have something tainted when you can have something pure? It don't make no sense. Come on, come on. This is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 10. For Yahweh hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and hath closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, hath he covered. Yeah, that's right. That's talking about these false prophets. That's not talking about us, because we're bringing out the truth. It's talking about these false prophets, including those that call themselves Israelites. Keep going. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Yeah, that's right. And, and you got pastors that are actually say that. You try to go into the book of Revelation. Oh, that's still sealed. When they clearly tell you that the seals were broken. The seals were loose. By who? The one who you know as Jesus Christ. Right. Hold me that in Revelation, the fifth chapter. Come on. Which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it right. is sealed. That's right. You got talking about people that go to college, they go to seminary school, they're ordained ministers. They say, No, I can't, I can't break this down. There's some more on it, right? Yeah, there's some more. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. Yeah, that's right. So a guy who just picks up the scriptures, he might have just went to church a few times, but he reads it for himself. Yeah, and he's like, no, I'm not learned. You know, I'm not versed in this. But you know what? Where would you consider unlearned men yet the spirit rests upon us? Just like Peter. They tell you that in Acts, the fourth chapter. They perceive that they were unlearned men, but that, that's who the most I deal with. You know Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people drew near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. And that's right. You got even Israelites talking about they love they love the Heavenly Father. Look, especially uh, Nathaniel 7, he even said it. He said, Oh, my mind is my mind is somewhere else. He wants to he wants to uh, uh, build a, a infrastructure for Israel in hell. He wants to have water in hell. What what <laughs> What, what good is that going to do, man? You still no burning picture, up. No pictures. Hey, no pictures. No pictures. Thank you. Weirdo, man. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Miami, you already know. You, you can only imagine what he's about to do, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. You can't go damn, get off, on, man. And their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. Right. The, what your pastors say. What your pastor, man. All these, and all these pastors and ministers, they all, oh, the water, brother. They all wicked, man. All, every last one, I don't care how cool they are, man. They're wicked as hell. And a, a lot of times, them cool ones, them be, them be the most wicked. They won't smile, they're going around, they'll go to your grandma's house and have Bible study with her for two years. I mean, for not two years, for two hours. <laughs> them the most wicked ones, man. Two hours every day. Every, yeah, every day, faithfully. Maybe he'll come to her funeral and everything. That nigga's wicked, man. Come on. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work amongst this people. Even a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of the wise men shall perish. That's right, and that's what's happening right now. The wisdom of the wise men are perishing. Hey, hold that. Give me a uh, First Corinthians. Yeah. Uh, the first chapter. Because that's what's happening. Like the truth is prevailing, man. You you can't stop this thing. Uh, one in twenty. That's and that's why the Spirit always has me saying, no, you shouldn't be no depressed brothers, man. Right. You about to inherit a kingdom. You got niggas walking with their head down. Now, we, this is the time. This is the time of our redemption. Sir. Hey, give me uh, Luke the twenty spirit chain to get Luke twenty one and uh, oh yeah, yeah, get Luke twenty one and twenty eight. Hey, the water. This is First Corinthians chapter one verse twenty. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Yeah, where is the wise and where is the scribe? Where are they at? All right, this one, this is one of the uh, this is one of the main cities of America. There's supposed to be a lot of intellectuals out here. Where are they at? Right, you got you got a university in Miami. Those are all the smart people are, right? In the university, where are they at? Keep going. Hath not the Most High made foolish the wisdom of this world? Has, has not the Most High made foolishness the wisdom of this world? I Meaning it's easily debunked. When you have your, when your life is centered around the scriptures, when this is your base, 
any doctrine that comes up is it's just it's light work, man. It's light. Right. Not because we came up with it, just the spirit, the spirit has us discern good from evil. You read the scriptures and then somebody comes with something that's profane, you know it's BS. You can easily disprove it. And that's why you guys you get caught up in shit like the, the, the flat earth. Most I was dealing with you the whole time, man. Right. What's funny is that the, the, the head teacher, he actually made a similar statement. The head the head teacher at that flat earth thing, Nigel the geologist, <laughs> big head ham. He actually said, he actually said, we were talking about that. He was like, yeah, man, you got the scriptures, everything else is easy. We, we used to talk about that, man. And now he went and fucked out. You know, keep going. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. Right, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High because you're indoctrinated from a youngster with land before times, uh, so-called science, um, uh, geog uh, geology class, so on and so forth, that all right, the earth is, what, two billion years old, we come from monkeys, so on and so forth. So you come into, you try to come into the scriptures with that mindset, trying to figure out the scriptures the way the so-called white man tries to figure things out, man. So the world by wisdom, by the wisdom of this world, knew not the most high, because you can't, you can't mix this, man. You can't bring your own doctrine, your own, your own worldly knowledge into this. That's why a lot of, uh, a lot of these niggas fall out too, man. Yep. Because they get bugged out. They come into camp, and they receive too much information from the scriptures, man, and they, they, they trying to an analyze it with Esau's understanding, exactly. and, and they, they bug the fuck out, man, and they, they, then they leave worse than them when they come in. That's right. They too tech, they try to be technical about it. You gotta be, you gotta be spiritual. That's right. Be, Say it again? 3D. 3D, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put the precept on that. Yeah, let the brother finish and then let the brother finish and then come in. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save the, them that believe. Right, it pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Because all these people, they look at us like we're weirdos, like we're bugged out, but we, we could care less because this pleases the Most High. Yeah. Hey, like uh, like it was said, like uh, Peter said in Acts of Fifth chapter, we ought to obey the Most High rather than men. Right. So wherever what you say, we're actually pleasing the Heavenly Father, and it and it's testified throughout our day to day. Right. We get delivered out of shit you wouldn't even believe, and we're not gonna tell you because you wouldn't believe any damn way. That's right. All right. Hold it. Come up. Come up. Reset. Nah, real quickly. Come on. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter three, verse fifteen, and I will give you pastor. Sorry, sorry, fourteen. Time. There's the book of Jeremiah, chapter three, verse four. I'm sorry. Sorry, twelve. There's the book of Jeremiah, chapter three, verse twelve. Go and proclaim these words towards the north, and say. Return, thou backsliding Israel. Right, return, oh backsliding Israel. If you're in the Islam, if you're in the black consciousness movement, you're backsliding. If you're into the Zulu nation, like Africa Bambuda, you're backsliding. And he's gonna slide in your back. <laughs> All right, keep going. Return, thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. Right, because you got a slavery? Yeah, you got a slavery? This is the anger of the Lord, man. You gotta remember, the Most High actually loves us. He actually, he actually loves us, and He did this to us, man. Uh, be it a so-called white man, and it's gonna be—it's actually gonna be worse than this because it's, it's higher technology now, man. He ain't gotta just grab you and, and 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 shrink you up, man. He could have a satellite hit you from the sky, man. You walking down the street thinking everything is cool, it can evaporate your ass. You got stuff you could just be chilling and feel like you're burning up, man. The Michael, the Michael, that's some scary shit, man. Yeah. And guess what? Well, you know what? We're not scared of the so-called white man. We're scared of the most high. Because right. Right. we know, we understand, he does that, man. He'll, he'll give you one today. Come on. God, anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, saith the Lord. Right, you, you acknowledging that you're an Israelite, being in the truth, that's the mercy from the Heavenly Father. So whatever else you go through in your day-to-day, -day, the little hell that you think you're catching, deal with it, man. You could be out here like these niggas. All these guys that you want to be like, all these stars, these... Man, I, walk, I work around and I talk to rich people all the time, man. They wish they was you, man. Here it is, you want to be them, they want to be you. They want to have your spirit. They want to walk like you, they want to carry themselves like you. So whatever the hell you're going through, man, you got to deal with it. Take a shot, man. <laughs> Come on. Say of the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Verse 13. Only acknowledge thy iniquity. Only acknowledge thine iniquity. And that's what our people have a problem with. Even dudes who come in the truth, they do something, you rebuke them, they get an attitude, man. Act like a damn woman. And try to justify themselves. Just acknowledge your iniquity. 
Like I was talking to brother in the car. Most of the stuff is not even is serious enough for you to get rebuked or reproved, but it's not that serious. You make it serious. Then you draw more attention to yourself, then demons get on you. You fall out the truth, man. Why? Because you didn't want to acknowledge your iniquity. And that's and that's and that's 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 the, the cycle of, of wickedness that our people have gone through, man. When you read the book of Judges, Jake get right. Alright, then then be right for 40 years, then be an idiot again, be an asshole, not want to acknowledge their iniquity, then eventually acknowledge it, and then fall back into it. We ain't doing that. The most we're not going through that no more, man. The most side's not doing that no more. Keep going. That thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. That's right. Right, uh, mixing in with the other nations' philosophies, trying to bring the scriptures in. And our people do that until this day, man. Keep going. And ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. That's right. Verse 14. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you. That's right, he's married unto us, and he's going to give his, his groom, who you call Yahweh Shia, to us, the bride. That's right. And we're going to be married forever. All right, keep going. Which, hey, you, you read that to a nigga, you, oh, that's gay, you know? Not even know it, man. <laughs> okay, yeah, go on, finish the verse and then come in. You done with the verse, brother? It's a little bit more. Okay, go ahead. Married on to you, and I will take you one of a city, slock it, one of a city, and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Yeah, that's right, and that's what happens. You got, you got, in the, right here, you got these, you got brothers here, I have some cousins here. One brother, he stayed far as hell away. He stayed 30 minutes away, but that's the, that's, that's the spirit. That's the scripture. And you got guys who scoff. Hey, look, man, you out there by yourself. It, it just say right there, man. You're going to have brothers like that out there by themselves. That don't mean the most I ain't dealing with them. Come on. It's Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 26. Thus shall the Lord power remove the diadem and take off the crown. This shall not be the same. Exalt him that is low and abase him that is high. That's right. And I will overturn, overturn, overturn it, and it shall be no more until he come whose right it is, and I will give it to him. That's right. Come on. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 29. Yet saith the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. Start, start up. Start up? Yeah. Start at uh, 24. Con. Uh, this, is, this is Ezekiel 18 and 24. And it still holds your mouth. But when the righteous turn away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? All his righteousness that he hath done shall not be mentioned in his trespass that he hath trespassed. And in his sin that he has sinned, and them he will die. Yeah, that's right. So if you come in, come into this, and you fall out, like the brother said, you you worse off. The scriptures repeatedly talk about that, man. Seven more spirits, which is a complete number, come upon you, man. Meaning you you you'll be filled with everything that's in Babylon. You know, and, and all the all the money you gave the brothers, all the gas money, you know, all the all the chicken you bought, all the wine you bought. Brothers ain't gonna remember that, man. They're just gonna remember how you were, the nigga that fell out who was weak. All right. Oh, come on. Come on. No, I'm not doing this. Come in, come in, let's go back. Yeah, this is Luke chapter 14, verse 28. For which of you intending to build a tower? Start up. Start up. Yeah. Uh, 27. Six. Six. 26. Uh, this is Luke 14, uh, verse 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. That's right, meaning you got to forsake all. That don't mean like you, you come home, you see your wife, you just start slapping her up. I hate you. It, it, that's not what it's talking about. Meaning if, if anything gets in your way of doing this work, you got to forsake it. The word is detest. Or disregard. Disregard. That's right. Yeah, yeah. you can push him to the side and keep pushing. Keep going. Right. Verse 27. And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. You gotta bear your cross, meaning you gotta, you're gonna have heaviness, you're gonna feel heaviness, man. You're gonna feel overwhelmed sometimes, but you gotta bear that. Don't you think Yahweh Shai just love walking through the streets having niggas he could, he could easily beat their ass. 
He could have, like, he poured out the spiritual power on them, on them, on them soldiers, the Tyrians. He could easily did that, but he had to bear his cross, so you got to do the same thing. Right. Even, even your house, I had angels to comfort him. That's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. He needed it. Yeah, he needed it. Yeah, we yeah, so like, yeah, we're not out here like we just really badass all the time because, you know, brothers may see us. Brothers have moments you feel vexed. You're like, man, what the hell? You, you get through it, man. You, you, you got to persevere. That you got to show your, you got to show integrity like Job. You got to have Job-like integrity. We don't come out here either for a damn show, man. Yep. We don't come out here looking for something to happen. Like this fallout we had in our camp in Tampa, man. We don't come out here looking for a damn show to see if something's going to happen, to see if the brother's going to get in the fight. You ain't a brother if that's what you're looking for, man. Right. right. You're looking to see if the brothers are going to go ahead and knock somebody out this week. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's to the sideline, like, ooh, ooh, like it's world star. Yeah, carnal. Yeah, carnal. yeah that's, why, that's why a lot of uh, people watch our, our, our videos, and we, you know, we tell you, man, you're going to die, man. You got these, I was, telling, I was showing the brother, they got this shit, they got memes of me and shit like that. Like, this is some <laughs> super superhero. You niggas are going to die, man. What? You, you're just going to die. Yeah, that whole flattery and... You know, Jake walking by and get a fist. They, they always try to look at you though. You gotta sure lie. Yeah, yeah. They gotta they gotta look at you though. Yeah. So you see them. Yeah. <laughs> we can't save you, man. We can't save you. Come on. You trying to get saved? That's why we out here. You all. You ain't gonna like the angel gonna come with the sword. Oh no, I know. I know that brother. I know. I know. I know. Come on. I know that brother. Nah, man. You gotta. Man, you gotta put work in, man. Go ahead, brother. Verse 28. For which of you intending to build a tower? Sit if not down first and count up the cost. That's right, and we're being built upon the foundation, which is Yahweh Shot. Right, so, but you gotta count the cost in that. Like, man, am I gonna be able to finish? You going? And America's gonna be destroyed, all right? Yeah! So called white people. I didn't have a with that, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Whether he has sufficient to finish it. Right. That you, have, you have that spirit, which is that energy. You, you have that spirit to finish it. Keep going. Verse 29, let's happily after he have laid the foundation mm -hmm. and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. Right, all they that behold it begin to mock him. Starting with the men of the Lord and also the, the people that used to condemn, they'll see you and they'll start mocking you too. Hey brother, hey, they say you smoking a plane. He used to curse me up and smoke the plane. Well, no, I ain't in that Israelite thing no more. And they'll start talking shit about you. Like, you ain't shit, nigga. And this nigga ain't shit, but he'll talk, he'll talk more shit about you. Why? Because at one time, you upheld the truth. All right? Is that it? Is there some more? Yeah, no, come on. Verse 30, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. That's right. You got to finish the work. That's what Paul said. That's what Yahweh Shai said. He said, what, what did he say? It is, it is done. It is done. He did what he had to do. Paul said the same thing. I have finished my course. His force is, is there laid up for me a crown of righteousness. That's right. Keep, keep going on it. Yeah. This is Ezekiel 18 and 24. But when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? All his righteousness that he hath done shall not be mentioned. That's right. In his trespass that he hath trespassed, and in his sin that he hath sinned, and them shall he die. Yeah, that's right. And you're going to get mocked like uh, Josh, a Baba Ball, Ball, the nigga that from Seattle that got thrown off. Yeah, he bought, man, he would come through with liquor, you know, he'll come through, he'll kick it. He was a funny nigga, you know. I'm still going, I'm, that don't stop me from mocking him. All that cool shit he did is, is forgotten. Bring a chick, oh yeah, I got a, she got a homegirl, all that. That don't matter, man. <laughs> all it is is, all, he's an adulterer, he's a wicked nigga, and the Mosai is going to destroy him. Oh, he got thrown off of that building, ha ha. Yeah, you know, man, straight up. Right. Right. Shut up. <laughs> you know, he was a fun, I'm being right, he was funny, you know, he was a likable guy. He was just wicked, you know? Keep going. Verse 25. Yet ye say, the way of the Lord is not equal. Here now, O house of Israel, is not my way equal, and are not your ways unequal? Yeah, because somebody will say, well, that's not right. Well, he, he was doing good. Have some, brother, have some compassion on him. No, the scriptures say what they say. Do fall out, man. You're supposed to mock him. All right, keep going. Verse 26, when a righteous man turneth away from his right righteousness and committeth iniquity and dieth in them, for his, for his iniquity that he hath done shall he die. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed and doeth that and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. Yep. Because he considereth and turneth away from all his transgressions 
that he hath committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Yet saith the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. O house of Israel, are not my ways equal and your ways unequal? That's right, because you got you got men of the Lord right now that are still doing wickedness, who haven't awoken to this truth. Men that are a part of the uh, the elect and the one third. But guess what? They're gonna turn, they're gonna turn from what they're doing. They're gonna watch your brother, they're gonna come across a video or walk past the camera, and they'll be converted. Now the dude who was doing the work for 10 years, he start he fall out, he start becoming an adulterer, a murderer again. And guess what, man? He's gonna be destroyed. Right. And our people and our you got our people who say that that's not right. Yeah, but that is right. Why? Because the Heavenly Father said it. Who are you? You know? Right. You got some more on that? Yeah, come on. Verse 30, therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, saith the Lord God. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord God, wherefore turn yourselves and live ye. Yeah, that's right. Because hey, ideally, matter of fact, on that, get Psalms 81. But hold it and uh, let this brother finish what he had in uh, Jeremiah. God, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, who shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Right, according to his heart. Well, what, what's in his, his heart? What's in the Heavenly Father's mind? Destroy Esau, destroy two thirds of his own people, enslave all these other nations. All right, set up his son Yahweh Shai as, as the ruler of righteousness. Uh, uh, bring forth World War Three, and after that, no more world wars. And that's what, and that's what a man of the Lord, a man of Adawan, is supposed to be preaching. All right, nobody else is preaching this. Uh, you got you gonna have a, a a gang of people. The scriptures call Harlot houses, man. The Harlot houses is gonna be packed tomorrow. Oh, and today, yeah. the Seventh Day Adventist, yeah. you know. But those, those those guys in there that are teaching and women, their heart that which that's crazy. All right, their heart isn't after the heart of the Heavenly Father. What are they teaching you that there's going to be rest and assurance here? That's not the case. Now, if you do get some blessings, hey, take it as that, man. Don't don't set your heart upon it, because that can easily fly away, man. Scriptures tell you about riches fly away. All right, brother, you got something else? No, that was a Okay. Okay. Bring that out. Psalms 81. Psalms 81. And then and start at 11. Con. And then we'll, and then we'll go. We'll hit that. Con. This is Psalms 81 and 11. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would none of me. So I gave them up unto their own heart's lust, and they walked in their own counsels. That's right. So the Most High will give you up to that. All right, this is too much of a burden for you. You don't want to do this no more. He'll give you up to the, the spirits of this world. That's why you gotta you gotta sincerely desire the kingdom. You gotta you gotta desire. You gotta stay occupied. That's why the apostle heart uh, put out an order. Are right, you supposed to be doing two uh, two videos a week? And if you don't get it, it's up to the camp leader, the leaders here, leaders of Tampa, myself, everybody, hey, to execute judgment. And I ain't got no. You ain't got no problem, you know. If you don't, if you don't want to be here, don't be here, man. And the most I'll give you up to to this. Pink buses. Okay. Bad food. The best part about it, Doc, is fall out. The most I'm gonna take that knowledge from, so you're not even gonna believe that, that America's, America's gonna be destroyed. Yeah. yeah. You think it's oh, you niggas is bullshitting, and then you're gonna be there and see the missile coming. Man. That's a, that's some wild shit. Yeah. yeah. Going. Verse 13. Verse 13. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should I should soon have subdued their enemies. Right, I should soon have subdued their enemies. That's why when you read Kings, it talks about if our people, I believe, I believe it's first Kings, the eighth chapter, if our people will turn and face the east, man, he'll come and deliver us. He used to do our enemies. Keep going. And turn my hand against their adversaries. That's right. And, and you know what? He's going to do that for us. He's not going to do that for the rest of the nation, man. And we got a lot of we got a lot of faith in that. All right, keep right. going. Verse 15, the haters of the Lord Yahweh should have submitted themselves unto him. Yeah, hey, like what's the what's the phrase these niggas say? If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Hey man, the most size, hey, the most size popping right now, man. 
Straight up, because he got the he got the most haters, man. All these people hate the Heavenly Father. He hates the Heavenly Father. You hate God? Do you believe in God? No. Huh? No. Yeah, he's a hater of the Lord, man. Yeah. Of course. And hey, let me ask you, what's your ethnicity? What's your background? Your, your ethnic background? I'm Hispanic. You're Hispanic? Yeah. So, like, what, what, what's your, what country of origin? Argentina. Yeah, okay. So, what, are you, like, uh, Italian descent or Spanish descent? Uh, More yeah. than likely, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a you're an Edomite. Well, you're, you're supposed to because you're, you're the devil, man. You're an Edomite. You know about Esau? Huh? You, did you grow up Roman Catholic? No. You didn't? So you just straight atheist, huh? Yeah. yeah that's, that's an Edomite, man. Yeah. Especially he's proud about it, man. Yeah. A Jake, a Jake, if he don't believe in the Mosai, he'll, he'll come up with a sob story as to why he don't believe in the Mosai, you know? <laughs> right? Yeah. And then Mosai had me the projects, man. My brother got <laughs> shot. <laughs> he just straight hate the Mosai. Hey, excuse me, no, no pictures. Come on. Verse 15, the haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him, yep. but their time... And no pictures, man. No pictures, man. But their time should hey, have... don't worry about him. It's cool. It's cool. Tell you, do you, you, want, you want the number for your sister, too? Wait. Huh? Well, I, say, wait. I, know, I know she likes it. All right. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Verse 15, the haters of the Lord should have sub sub submitted themselves unto him. That's right. You got to submit yourself. That's a part of being a man, being able to submit. All right? Well, you were talking, hey, uh, there's a saying in the world, it takes a real leader to follow uh, another leader, man. And that's what this truth is about. It's a military, an army. Army of Yahweh, and the armies of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You got to submit. Ulti because you submit in order, you're ultimately submitting yourself to Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shai and Yahweh, I should say. No, you're done, man. You going? What's the purpose? But their time should have endured forever. Right. Hey, exactly. Everlasting life, which is what we're about to inherit now. So, I mean, all of these things that we read about, talking about, you know, things that happened in the past, cycle. and, you know, the cycle, the cycle of wickedness that our people went through. The beautiful thing is we're at the end of this thing now, man. Finish that off and give me Lamentation, the fourth chapter. Kind. And get ready for slavery. All right? All right. All right. All right. The hard court right. Verse 16. He should have fed them also with the finest of the wheat, and with honey out of the rock should I have satisfied thee. That's right, because you serve the Heavenly Father, He hooks you up, man. The scriptures talk about the benefits. Which you, yeah, you are people who aren't in this truth, man. You're an idiot, man. You're a sadist, you're a sadist, you're a sadist child, as the scriptures say. 